Right, I've just pressed record. Hello everyone, my name is Ross McGill. Do you want to introduce yourself, Sarah? <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah Lowry. Um, so this is a coaching conversation that we are having uh, about Sarah's work in her school, introducing coaching, uh, and we're going to kind of model this as an example. Um, so Sarah, just to give some context, you've introduced coaching to your school? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, um started toward the end of last year but just launched it out to the to all the staff yeah and the the current so your current feelings are in you know so you've gone you've got your group of coaches and you've got yeah. your you've rolled it out to staff so what what kind of concerns immediate concerns do you have well um uh, before we when we were going to roll it out the night before i was saying oh my god you know we've invested a lot we've, you know we've got rob sim we've got a, a kind of like co-opted these 10 coaches on and what happens if everybody says no uh, I don't want to do it so that was, that was my concern um but actually the response from staff has been fantastic um which, which leads to another concern because now it starts to feel uh I was talking about it with Peter I think he said it's a it's, it's become a monster <laughs> right okay because <laughs> <laughs> we kind of linked coaching as well the launch of Iris which is the you know Iris the video yeah of course yeah yeah so we kind of tag that on, and then I just sort of looking at it now, thinking, "My goodness, that's too big." Kind so, of. So has the going. has the monster become your particular fear of? You know, I, I guess. Um, so th this monster is potentially mm -hmm. stopping it being successful. Yeah. Well, I think it's it's just the logistics behind it, really. Okay. Um, because I I absolutely know we are it will be successful because the staff are so great and I kind of I feel responsible. I don't want you know, me to mess up the logistics and then the program itself. You know, we've all done things where you start at your launch and everybody's energy is high, and then it doesn't quite work. And then it all kind of, you know, flops. And this is too important, you know, to the school for that to happen. So, I feel, yeah, it feels like a bit of pressure. So, let me just clarify. What do you want instead of this problem? Uh, I want the programme to run effectively. I want to be able to, for it not to be too onerous for the coaches, which be rewarding for them, but also to see impact in the classroom, I suppose, ultimately. And, and where are you right now with the staff? Um, or in fact, where are you with the coaches first, and then we'll look at the staff. Um, coaches uh, are have been fantastic, um, really motivated, really enjoyed the training that they got. They just there have been a few issues. They found it tricky to to kind of get in to see each other. We anticipated that, so I wasn't shocked about that. I've kind of like gone very almost less safe there in terms of the recording of it, and just set up a Google Doc and said. You know, when you've had a discussion, mm -hmm. put it in there. Uh, I don't know if that's the right way to go because that document's still looking really blank. Okay. So it's kind of like, I know the coaches are doing their best to do it. I kind of need to have an oversight of it, but I don't want it to be onerous. I want it to sort of, I don't know, how do you make it organic and yet still systematic? That sounds weird. So, um... How far are we on this journey with your coaches so far? Uh, they are now um, working with each other, um, coaching each other, and trying uh, trying to apply the coaching model, uh, and also kind of skilling themselves up on a particular part of the uh, teaching learning framework. So, when what period of time did we start this? Um, a week ago, a month, six months? Uh, they started coaching. Which sure was September, start of September. Okay. Well, second half of the summer term, but you know what the summer term's like. Okay, so kind of July 2018. Um, yeah. So let's just move on to the staff. Where are the staff, you know, in terms of you introducing this? Uh, so at the last Twilight Inset, the coaches led sessions uh, in small groups with the staff. And then at the end of that session, they kind of introduced the ethos of it. I uh, we went to great pains to make sure people knew that it wasn't going to be, you know, another... Kind of flash in the pan or linked to performance development because we wanted to move away from that uh, and we asked them to indicate their interest um and the, as i said the response has been fantastic you know far far better than than i would have expected really okay um 
So what is the next immediate step for the staffs section? Um, I suppose they need some feedback from me in terms of, um, I mean, I've done like a general staff thank you, but I guess an acknowledgement that, you know, we're, you know, we're delighted that they want to be part of it. And then I need to come up with a system for matching coaches with, uh, you know, other staff. And uh, we've had some discussion around that, just myself and the coaches and Peter as well, just saying how do we want to do that? Do we want people to be able to choose their coach? Yeah. Or do we want to match it with a sort of skill set? I mean, the sign of the latter just to, I don't know, just seems more, more sensible, less emotional. Okay, so where are, what's the next step for coaches, the people you've already trained? Uh, they need to continue to practice their skills and then probably have a session where we share those skills, become a bit more familiar with the with the people framework. Um, maybe me go in and watch a little bit of them coaching and sort of see if there's anything I can contribute there. So just want to give them up until Christmas to continue doing that and also to get feedback on the process, you know, to, so that these sort of teething problems we're having, we can... Yeah. You know, plan out before we go with... Okay, I'm going to introduce my little scaling card. So, um, let's look at the coaches first. Where where do we think we are as a group? Um, I would say six. And and what, 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 what makes that a six? Give me the components of, of what that, why that is, a, where it is. I, I think it all still feels new to people. I think, I hope they're not going to be offended, but I think that they, they would say that it's, that it's still something that they are uh, using kind of with each other. I think the lack of actual time for them to do those coaching sessions has restricted some people. And also there's divergence. Some people have done it, you know, quite, you know, systematically. Other people, yet yeah, have still, you know, not fed back to each other and stuff. So Okay, so um, let's just keep it simple. Why, why did you not give it a five? Um, because they have the, the knowledge... And the expertise, I think it was a, if it was a five, you'd be saying that it's, you know, it, it's less than, you know, it's, it's, it's too, yeah, it's too, it's too low. I didn't want to. Okay, so if we, if we go, so it's now October half term. If we aim for a seven by Christmas, give me two or three things that would help you move on to the next stage. Um, that the coaches need to time do. Time with the coaches. Okay. Yeah, time, time together. Um, that's something we have already addressed. We've had a look at the meeting schedule and. We're going to use the twilight sessions for uh, and another meeting schedule to sort of have a coaches group. So I think that will help. Okay, what else? Um, kind of, I don't know. Almost like a determination to 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 drive them to drive their own what seeing of each other and feedback sessions, just to get it a bit more sort of systematic. Really, so I've, I've asked them to do uh, three or four more observations before Christmas. So is that your determination or your perception of theirs? Um, my perception of that, yeah, them kind of seeing it through. Okay. You know, and, and, uh, yeah, doing that. Okay, one more. What else? Um, I think getting some feedback from me in terms of observing them and uh, having coaching conversations and you know just getting that not necessarily me but having that those triangle discussions i think would be, be useful as well because uh, obviously i'm being coached as part of this uh session and it's it actually brings up quite it's quite an emotional process i think yeah no it is even th even through skype <laughs> <laughs> right so we've got three things so i've written those down so we just yeah. talk about the coaches first the top one we've got time with coaches Second one we've got is determination, or at least perhaps your perception of everyone else doing it for you, so you can, I guess, evaluate if it's going right. So that's a tricky one. And then the feedback, time to feedback. Yeah. Um, so out of those three things, which one's probably the most uh, obvious starting point? Uh, number one, yeah, the time with coaches. Okay, so what do you have in place for that to happen? Um, we've built in... Sometime in inset, um, they're going to get a couple of hours of training on how to use iris and working together. Okay, and when, when's that going to happen? 
22nd of November. Okay, and we're back to school next week, so we're looking at two or yeah. three weeks before that actually happens. Yeah. Um, do you think there's anything else in there that we could do before that? Um, yeah, determination's a tough one, isn't it? I mean, basically, they, we just need to get into each other's lesson and, and give them feedback and, you know, kind of make it happen now. It's almost like enough time has passed, let's... You know, let's be systematic and, you know, make it work. Okay. So let's make that easy. Let's cross that one off the list. Yeah. So from the in the next three weeks, do you think we could tackle number three? Yeah, absolutely. So what could you do? Um, I guess it could just be as simple as setting, you know, saying to them, right, you've, you've all done three, three observations or two observations. Um, as part of this process, we're going to do some trio, you know, some trio watching. Uh, what's all that? Trio watching sounds right. Triads, yeah, yeah, triads, yeah. Okay. That's it, triads, yeah. Um, could be just as simple as setting that up because I think that will give people a little uh, incentive to, to kind of keep going. And also, it's nice to have some other ears on, you know, what, what you're doing. Okay, what else other than observations? Um, I think sharing this coaching session will help. Um, get some more examples for people. Okay, what else? Um, maybe get me getting some feedback from them, just sort of opening it up and saying, okay, you know, we are about a half term in. What are the obstacles? Where are the opportunities? Um, you know what? You know, just kind of open it up to them because they're, they're an amazing, you know, group of people. Such experience. And how are you going to? So how are you going to collect this feedback from them? Um, well, if I use an IT-based system, half of them that will cut half of them out. They won't bother. They won't have time. Okay. So um, maybe just a, a cup of tea, some biscuits, and sit down and let's let's have a, you know a bit more of an informal. Um, setting maybe some samosas that always helps okay do you see your staff on corridors uh yeah yeah oh, i don't know it's tough we're such a disparate group if you want to catch some of them you have to go out onto the field okay and do you go out on the field <laughs> ross i can't go on the field i'm a sociology <laughs> teacher <laughs> we want we want feedback and we're all busy people yeah um, yeah. So, if you do it through IT, you've already said the risks are that you won't get half the or, uh, you won't get half the people responding. Um, okay. To get people in a group, you're going to have to create another meeting. True. Um, dare I say you've probably got more time to find people than they have time to find you. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, I don't know what the, the dynamics of your coaching group are, how many or where they are based across the school, but could I be steering you towards, you know, you need to have time with coaches, which is probably going to come from a formal setting, yeah, plus yeah. the observations, but to actually just gather a sense of their determination, probably yours as well, Mm -hmm. simply through corridor conversations might be a good next step before you have the meeting on the is it the 22nd of November 22nd. yeah yeah okay um so we'll come back to that so let's just talk about the staff so you mentioned earlier that you wanted to get feedback from staff having introduced it and then you're kind of working out the logistics of pairing personalities up yeah. so um where would we be for this stage in terms of introduction to uh... staff Probably, yeah, low, low, uh, uh, two. Okay, a two. So why not a one? Uh, because I have, the, I have the core information. I know, you know, which teachers would like to be involved. So I've got that. But literally, that's all I've got. I haven't, I haven't even okay. got it organised. So I guess introducing it to staff makes it a two and you've got the knowledge to get it started. Yeah, yeah. So what would a three look like? What where how would we get to a three and what would it look like? What would you be doing? Um I think the first stage is to sort of get that data organized so that I know 
who you know who definitely wants to be involved. I also gave them an option in terms of when. Um, okay. So some sort of organising that basis, so I know okay, like who's up for it in that middle church? Because I didn't want to sort of prescribe it to be able to choose. Yeah. So yeah, that's probably just some admin work on my behalf just to get it a bit more organised. Okay. Uh, and then I suppose the bigger task is, uh, you know, just firming up with the coaches. What's what's it going to look like when we actually, you know, when we roll up that first roll up? What's it actually going to look like? What can we commit to, and what what um, what realistic? So I don't want to promise people things that we can't deliver. Okay. And, and give me a, a kind of time scale for the staff side of things. Um, well, really, we're, we're gonna. We're, I'd like to start off Christmas with the first cohort of. Okay. Um, and is there anyone that could possibly help you? Um, yeah, I've sorted out some admin support, which would, which would be good. So you um, have got admin support. Hmm? You, you have got admin support. Yeah, just organise that. So okay, uh, then got a couple of periods of that. So that will help uh, when we go back. Um, that would be good. So let me pop back to the coach. We've kind of got a dual conversation going on on here about the logistics of your coaches and also the long term yeah. approach logistics for your staff and then working in tandem. Um, I guess to support the, the long term strategy. So. Um, Back to the coaches, um, we've identified time with coaches and feedback. So, so let's just unpick, what are the risks of those not happening? Well, oh, the whole, um, yeah, the whole programme at school, if you don't, you know, it's kind of like a critical time, I think, actually. Like, it's all very well having this lovely floaty idea and putting it out there and everything saying, and yes, do it. But if, yeah, if those things don't happen, then the whole thing could stop. So to stop it flopping, what's the first thing you're going to need to do when you go back to school next week? Uh, I think I'm going to need to, you know, remind people, uh, probably communicate that actually, that this is, you know, because the will is there, everybody wants to sort it, and then get out and see, see, see coaches, get that feedback from them, how's it going, you know. Yeah. Okay, and that's something that you're going to do? Yes. Okay, uh, and you've got, am I correct that it's the 22nd of November for that first formal time with your coaches yes that's right so yeah. you've potentially got three weeks where you are doing the feedback yeah so again could you just elaborate on what this feedback will look like uh, how you will do that um i suppose i'd like to know kind of uh, um you know how basic how you know just the basic kind of how's it going um, is there anything I can do to, to help, you know, to facilitate anything we need to do with the school, anything they need yeah. to sort of make that process better? Um, so anything that we need in terms of practical stuff, but also maybe theoretical stuff, anything I can find on Teach Toolkit or, or from, you know, somebody else that would support some materials type stuff that they feel they've got enough. So how um, are you going to gather this feedback? Uh, with the coaches. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go and you know go and speak to them. I think you know individually. I think that's okay. The only way. Um, and then popping back to the staff, um, you've talked yeah. about rolling this out in January. Yeah. So in terms of, it, let me just clarify if I've got this correct. You're going to feed back to your staff. You've sorry, your coaches in various forms, physically yeah. and digitally. You've got your 22nd November window. To talk about stuff, and then behind the scenes, you're kind of long term in the rollout for staff from Christmas. Yeah. Okay. So after Chris, so for the staff, what things do you need to put in place? So you've got the when, and oh, I've written down here when and admin. Second one, we've got the rollout and the commitments involved with that, and then we've got post Christmas. Yeah. So let's just unpick. You know what what is this going to look like in practice? Uh, you mean when, they, when we start the program with Kurt, with what, the staff? What things will you need to have put in place behind the scenes so that I'm a teacher, I turn up to be this coaching session, I'm really excited, I want to be allocated with a coach, Sarah's about to tell me how it all works. 
don't know yet. <laughs> okay, so we we we, we said we're that's a sort of anxiety. Really. We said we were at a two, didn't we? And we said for a three, yeah, yeah. your anxiety is it's the you want to roll something out. So let's just clarify. What do you want to roll out? I suppose, well, we want to we want the coaching to actually you know start to. Okay, so let to, so yeah. so what do we need in place for Ross, the teacher, to receive coaching? Um. Well, not. I mean, it doesn't have to be a huge, huge complicated thing, does it? It just needs to be. Um, clear about your own sort of the area that you'd like to, to work on, I guess. So one of those components of the teaching and learning framework or something different, but you want to be clear about, you know, what, where you think you could improve. I suppose staff definitely need that. And then they just need that initial discussion and an introduction to their coach. Some thought about what lessons um, they're going to they want to be observed, they have to be observed with. So at what um, point are you going to allow me so so I'm as a teacher on the inset day when you're introduced yeah. are you either introducing this or are you pairing me up because I already know this information? I've been pairing up, I think. So I'm already aware of the coaching programme. Yep. You'll have already told me um that I need to think about XYZ. No, I need to do that, don't I? Yeah, I need to I need to yeah, so I need to communicate with the cohort before they come. You know, they'll yeah, they'll need some guidance as to okay. those things. So we're back to these this the staff thing. So we've got um Wen and the admin. Yeah. So you're meeting your coaches on the twenty second of November. Yeah. I would you've got three weeks before the end of term with all the staff busyness going on with Christmas and exhaustion. Um you're expecting staff to turn up on the inset day after Christmas to be matched with a coach mm -hmm. and to be aware of something. So let's just, for that to work, how are you going to get... It's 13 hours. How are you going to get this on staff radars that I need to think about something to be better at? Um, I guess the first step is to pick who's going to be coached and then I'll need to... I guess I'll need to, oh yeah, I'll definitely need to meet with them before Christmas, won't I? With the, with the whole staff? No, with the, with the cohort that are going to be, we've got 10 coaches, so it would just be 10. 10 teachers? Uh, 10, you know, 10 first ones, okay. uh, maybe not even 10. Uh, so where do you see that opportunity happening? Um, I don't know, I'll have to have a look, because you say it's a, it's a hectic time, isn't it? Um would have to be, I think, sort of early December to give them time to yeah. mull it over and stuff, yeah. Okay. Or maybe, actually, Ross, maybe that's better done after Christmas when everybody's fresh, relaxed. Um, so actually, maybe the actual coaching might not start until like this, this second or third week of them. So I, that's I, the best time for launch with yeah, I mean, I don't know what your inset days or your CPD commitments are. So, um, whether you know, what does it look like? You got a first day inset back, and then you got regular CPD after that. Is there other op windows of opportunity? Yeah, there will be. Yeah, we've got we've got some. Yeah, we've got uh, twilight and half day closure sessions as well. So there's plenty of opportunity. Yeah. So we've identified a risk here of maybe it's not the right time for the teaching cohort to start. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so let's pop back to the coaches. Yeah. So just tell me back what you're going to do in the next half term. Okay, so um, first important job is to get out and about and speak to people uh, and find out, you know, kind of what's going on and me get feedback from them um, and do some thinking about, about that. Um Hopefully then I'll be able to address any issues that are coming up and provide an additional help and support that they need to sort of keep that program uh, yeah. rolling along. Um, then I need to get some thought about this 22nd of November session in terms of how we're going to use that. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, and then with your teaching staff, tell me what you're going to do. Uh, so I'm going to sort out the, the kind of feedback that we've got in terms of who wants to be involved, kind of get that nailed off. That should be quite quick. And then I need to have a look, I think, at the training calendar and give some more thought as to when we actually are going to sort of match people up and start people having those those discussions. I'll probably need to speak to Peter about that. Um, I'm sure he'll be fine with it. But, um, yeah, now I think about it. I'd probably it's probably the wrong time just before Christmas to say to people, you know, where do you want to develop? They'll be tired, won't they? Yeah. Um I mean I, I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, popping it into a staff meeting conversation here or there or the coaching cohorts, you know, it's that kind of drip feeding subconscious yeah. coaching's on its way, you have a think about your focus, you know, but then there's the formal gathering together. Um yeah. So from now until you get back to school, is there anything that's going to get in the way? No, I don't think so. So you'd be able to physically go and talk to all your 10 teachers, regardless of where they are in the school, even out on the field? <laughs> <laughs> they, we have got a sports hall. Maybe I'll catch him when he's in there. <laughs> okay. Um, right. And, and uh, let me just test your commitment level to this, you know, uh, Articulate that to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely, absolutely want to do it, want, to, want, you know, want it to work. And plus, if I, it's nice, if I, if I do that, then that will lessen some of my anxiety about it as well, I think. Better to take some action rather than just sit and stress about it. Okay, so um, one last question from me then. Mid-November, let's check in on where you would want yourself to be. Um Gauging staff, but also the coaching. What you know? What are you going to be doing? Um, so by mid-November, I will. Um, I have that data ready so that I know which staff, you know, are good to go when we launch. I will have checked in with each of the coaches, got some feedback from them, and we'll be more aware then of, you know, obstacles, things we need to tweak, knowledge gaps or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I would have liked to have perhaps set up some of those um, sessions where I can sit in and, and watch them coach and maybe see if I can help them anyway. Just to start, maybe get okay. them under support. So to finish off, I've written down two words for you, which I think are, the first one is your, your coaching group, and the yeah. second one is the date to launch it with your staff. Yeah. And it sounds like you can't do the second one without doing the first one. Yeah, I would agree, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, good. Well, let's let's catch up again and uh, see how you do. Thank you. Okay.